Hello, this is Lancer Kind, and I just want to share a little bit of my coaching notebook. Some of the, this, is a, this is a series of uh, vignettes of different discussions I have with with uh, product owners, developers, and scrum masters. And the question a lot of people have is about how can I get my how can I possibly do sprint planning in one day? Well, first let's say why would you want to? And when we try to do agile planning, we want to have when we do agile planning, we want to have a short, short uh, amount of time where we do some planning and then we get back into a sprint. So it looks like this: start of the sprint, and we finish. We have one day of planning, and then we start the next sprint the next day, and then we do no more than one day of planning. If you can do it even less than that, that's 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 awesome. Uh, I've seen some few teams able to do it in two hours, and I would say for the most teams take four hours to do sprint planning. And occasionally, I've been part of teams that take up to a day. Uh, those aren't exactly fun days, but for for one month sprints or two week sprints, uh, I've been on teams that even take a day for a two week sprint occasionally. Uh, anyways. The the what you see here is a burn down chart. The start of the sprint, we do we start doing work, and we burn down, and we get some amount of work done. Uh, before the sprint's over, we do a few days before the end of the sprint, we do backlog grooming. That's that BL, and backlog grooming is where you establish uh, whether the 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 uh, uh, stories that you're bringing into the bat into sprint planning are going to work for sprint planning rather than try to figure that out during sprint planning which creates uh, your which will slow down your your sprint planning there's four criteria uh, I coach scrum masters to or I coach pro product owners to do to follow when they do backlog grooming uh, first criteria is will the story is the story small enough to fit in the sprint next into a sprint so a few days before the sprint planning, we try to find problems such as will the stories are the stories small enough to sprint to bring into a sprint? Are the stories understandable by the team? Are they estimatable? And are they testable? If you can answer those four questions, then it's a good story, and you should put that in your list of in your proposed sprint backlog for the next sprint. And you keep going through your backlog of the first few items until you have about what you think is a sprint's uh, worth of work. And then you're ready for sprint planning. The reason why we do backlog grooming a few days before sprint planning is it gives the product owner a few days to um, respond to any feedback you get. Who goes to backlog grooming? That would be a few key developers and testers, a few key people, basically enough of the team to represent, uh, to, to, to answer those criteria if they, about if, the re if it's going to be estimatable by the rest of the team, testable by the rest of the team, and understandable by the rest of the team. Um, then at the end of the sprint, we do. We, you should have a sprint demo and a retrospective. And some people will also squeeze sprint planning on that last day of the sprint. And some people need a little more time, so they will have an extra day where you have before you start the next sprint and have the uh, the, the sprint planning on that day.